This is the Arduino Joy Mouse. It's a joystick that I turned into a mouse, including having a scroller here. These buttons are active. The buttons here are the right and left click of the mouse. The thing is that I've never done a really good video for it, and I want to make one, and then I realized that this part just sank in. So you gotta get a treat, I'm gonna open it and show you how it looks inside. Okay, I've opened it up. I gotta admit, I didn't even remember it's all cramped inside of there. So what you saw just now dropping is one of the buttons from the back. Now, that's a nano here. And it's mounted on a IDE um, uh, computer drives um, cables. I just use them as a mount. You can see I can pull it up, as you can see it's at. And um, there's a lot of a lot of wires going on inside of here. So this is the accelerometer here. Um, it's an uh, ADXL321 <laughs> that cost me around something like $30 back in 2012. You can probably buy 10 of them right now in that same price. Um, um, this is where I took the part from the scroller. Actually, really, really sad way I've realized that the scroll didn't just fall in, it actually broke here from the, um, from, it's, it's kind of like the part itself. Um, sad thing, what I did is just, I cut that part, the rotary part, out of a actual um, mouse, and I've mounted it here, including the third button, which is really nice, because then you can just close, you can just click on the scroller and turn the joystick up and down, and have it scroll down, up and down on a page, which was really cool. Um, what you're seeing here is a, a, a USB to PS2 converter, something like something like this one here, which I took out of the case and I just put it inside. The thing is with this, that back then the Leonardo, which has an HID, wasn't that um, um, out there or common, I think it was really expensive. So that was the uh, next best solution, and over here I got a PS2 library that's actually emulating both a keyboard for, the, for those keys, and of course the mouse and the scroller. I had to play around with the library to allow myself the third button as well, the one that is under the scroller. Um, I'll try and fix it and get it back working so I can show you how it's actually working in, in real life. If not, I'll just put a link to the old video. Well, let's try and fix it. Okay, so this is the part that broke. It's supposed to be here and it's connected here. What I'm going to try and do is mount a piece of thumping here that will reconnect this. Hopefully I'll get it to work again. I had to run out and get myself a fresh tube of super glue. Now let's try and fix this. So with the help of super glue and some baking soda I was able to somewhat mend them together. I hope it will hold. I need to still clean it up and maybe, I don't know, file it a little bit. I'll hope it works. I've actually managed to mend it. I was skeptic myself, but it actually, you can see, not holding well, but once we'll have the cover, it will be okay. So I got it all back together, was an easy task, um, it's still extremely fragile, so I'm gonna go and just show it to you on the computer. Uh, one thing I didn't want to show you is that I actually cut the outer part of the mouse uh, stand and I actually cut here and re-glue this and sand it and painted it until it looks as good as it was part of the actual joystick. Now let's go to the computer. Once you plug it into the computer it blinks like that and the reason for that it's waiting for calibration from the for the accelerometer. So I'm putting it straight up, pressing to those buttons and now it's red flash and I can actually move the mouse with it. And as I mentioned, the really cool features is the scroller and the really, really cool feature that I wasn't even aware of me building it until I actually tried it first is clicking the third mouse, which doesn't work here. I'll show you in a different page. So I've opened a web page so it'll be easier to show you the scrolling function. So clicking here and I just tilt the joystick up and down and I can move around the page and undo this. And of course, right clicks works well, and left clicks works well. 
And uh, last and not least, of course, is the code itself. As I mentioned throughout the video, what it really based on is the PS2 uh, library, which allows us to emulate a PS2 keyboard and mouse, which in return connects into the PS2 USB connector and then connect it to the computer. Uh, all of this is just definitions for it. And of course, the second thing is the accelerometer, which I'm testing the X, Y, and Z to make a decision of which direction the joystick is tilted. So it's basically just reading analog and having the communication with the keyboard itself, which is done in libraries. Also, and uh, as you can see, is mouse calibrated is then is allowing you to calibrate the mouse, which is just basically reading uh, loop value. I can't remember what that number is. But it, oh, 25 times. It loops 25 times. Yes, it says here. 25 times I'm reading it and then I'm doing an average to get somewhat of an accurate reading to what will be the analog values while the joystick is held up straight. This is the calibration uh, part. And then I can assume out of that in which direction I'm leaning by the method I can do analog readings from each of the direction. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel sh free to share, click, comment, uh, join the, the channel, and so on. Thank you.